Family members of D'Angelo Evans laid his body out for a public viewing at the Father Marshall Cooper Park in Mason's edition today. It was an emotional moment for family and friends of the young man who community leaders insist was not a troublemaker. Jimmy DeSwain tells us that the community just wants to see justice served. A somber day in Mason's edition Friday as the community supported the family of D'Angelo Evans, who was killed by police last month at Sandy Lane off McCullough Corner. Tears flowed freely. Flanked by members of the community, D'Angelo's father, Danson Evans, voiced his plea for justice for his son. He is hiding, and they know who he is in the community. So he never was locked up before, never been to no type of police activities before, but no altercation with the police, no altercation with nobody. And the whole community know him as a nice person, a laughing, smiling person. His mother, Beverly Lee, had very few words before being overcome with grief. AMT. <laughs> Signs posted through the Mason's Edition community call for justice for young D'Angelo. Others shared why it was important to support the family. The whole entire Mason's Edition stand with the Lee and the Evans family on justice for D. Former Prime Minister the Right Honorable Perry Christie also viewed the body. In the final analysis, it is my fervent hope, and you know I'm going to help you in this regard, that our system of justice enables you, at the end of the day, to have all of the information and explanation that you would need to know that fairness and justice was not only done, but it was seen to be done. This community, and I think I should say to the country, this community will not let this go. The family has launched a petition calling on Prime Minister Dr. the Honorable Hubert Minnis to assist in a speedy conclusion in the case. This was the first time that Evergreen Funeral Home held a public viewing on a park. Mortuary director and owner Denali Penn Mackey says this tragedy is personal for her. I grew up in this community. I know everybody in this community very well. And also Dee, he's a very nice young man, never known to, to be in any type of problems. And so we're standing collectively in justice for, for Dee. And I hope that the family and the community can get some healing through, um, through the initiative today. Now, family members allowed the viewing of young D'Angelo's body at the Mason Sedition Park until 4 p.m. on Friday. He will be funeralized tomorrow during services at Zion Baptist Church at 2 p.m. Jiminita Swain, ZNS Network News.